Hi everyone, marhaba, Shariq here and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. It's going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic students. Today we will do another song. It's called Elbi Ya Elbi. It's by the beautiful singer Nancy Ajram. It's a very popular song and people love it so much. It's a romantic and soft song. So we will learn it, we will translate it, we will go into the grammatical details and every single detail of the song. And by the end of this explanation, uh, I'm gonna also upload the song with my own voice. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, before I begin, let me remind you guys that our courses are starting again. Our 30-day Lebanese Arabic Challenge courses are starting again on Monday, June 29. Uh, there will be two editions this summer, uh, the, the July edition and the August edition. If you need more information, uh, you can get in touch. I'm going to leave more information uh, under this video. You can reach me at shariq at globetrotwitharabic.com. We will be having four courses, the Absolute Beginners course. It's great for you if you can't read and write Arabic and you've never had any exposure to the Arabic language or very, very little exposure. Uh, the second course is the General Lebanese Arabic 30-day challenge course. Um, it's great for you if you can read and write and you studied Arabic for about six months to one year, one year and a half. We will also have the General 2 course. It's also great for you if you're an advanced learner as well or you studied MSA or you've studied Lebanese Arabic for more than one year and a half. It's a very uh, grammatically intensive course and it's also designed for people who are advanced speakers who want to go back to um, rebrushing their Lebanese Arabic grammar skills. And finally, we will have the advanced course, which is great for you if you've studied Arabic for at least one and a half years to two and a half years. Um, for more information, as I said, you can find my email under this, uh, this video and uh, you can get in touch so I can send you the course plans as well. So let's begin. All right, guys, let's begin. So as I said, the song is called Elbi Ya Elbi. Elb means heart, Elbi means my heart. Elbi Ya Elbi, my heart, oh my heart. But when we're speaking Lebanese Arabic, we don't usually pronounce this as an E. We pronounce it Elbi with the A sound, but for the sake of the song, we will pronounce it LB because that's how it's pronounced in this song. Now, ya yeah is a word we use to address ourselves um, to people. For example, if I'm talking to someone called John, I can say ya yeah John, uh, ya yeah Mary, ya yeah Thomas. So it's just for us to say, it's, it's almost translated as hey, but it's not informal. As I always say, we can use it in a formal setting and an informal setting. In this case, it's like she is talking to her heart and she's addressing herself to her heart. That's why she's saying, my heart, hey, my heart, or oh, my heart. I'll be, I'll be. Yalla, let's begin. So, I'll be, I'll be, my heart, oh, my heart. Trick me, ya I'll be. Trick me, ya I'll be. Again, here in Lebanese, when we're speaking it, we don't say trick me. We usually pronounce it as an A. Uh, almost always when we have a e at the end of the word, it's pronounced as a e in Lebanese Arabic. Trikne. Trikne ya elbi. Again, here we can change it into an e. Trikne ya elbi in the song. So, trok, uh, the verb trok in the imperative form, it means leave. Okay? But here, because we're adding the ne in the end, which means me, we don't pronounce it trokne anymore, which means leave me. We drop this u and it becomes trikne. And actually, we're adding a kasra here. Trikne, leave me. Trikne. If we're talking to a girl and we want to tell a girl to leave us, we say trikine. So trike is the verb in the imperative form. Trike. Let me write it with Roman letters. Trike. But when I add the ne in the end, I'm not going to say trikene anymore. This e is pronounced now as a e. Trikine. So we would write it like this. Trikine. Leave me. Trikine. Or uh, in the masculine form, we will say trikne. Leave me. So, elvi, elvi, 
تركني يا قلبي my heart oh my heart leave me my heart and then she goes on and says مش وقتا مش وقتا هلا ارجع حب مش وقتا هلا ارجع حب مش وقتا وقت means time مش وقتا مش means not so when I say مش وقتا it's not the time مش وقتا and most of the times we use it with هلا because هلا means now it's not the time now so basically we're saying it's not the right time now okay so مش وقتا هلا so if you want to say next time to someone it's not the right time to do that now you just say مش وقتا هلا and you add the a in the end after what مش وقتا هلا it's not the time now ارجع حب ارجع حب حب is I love to love in this case ارجع when it's alone in another context it means to return but whenever you see this verb ارجع verb to return before another verb it won't mean to return anymore so for example here it doesn't mean to return to love no it means to re-love basically to redo something so she says مش وقتا هلا ارجع حب it's not the time now for me basically that's what she means for me to love again so but in Arabic you're not saying to love again you're saying irja I return hib I love so it's like you're saying uh, to re I love in Arabic it makes no sense in English but in Arabic it does so irja hib to re love but you're saying I re I love basically okay so albi ya albi trikni ya albi mish waqta hala irja hab it's not the time uh, for me to love now but in my cover song i changed the lyrics a, a little bit so i said albi ya albi and i said khidni instead of trikni trikni means leave me i said khidmi khidni sorry khidni i pronounced it which means take me because it comes from the imperative verb khod which means take plus ne in the end so you don't pronounce it khod ne anymore because you added the ne here you drop the u sound and it becomes khidne khidne take me khidne ya albi and then i said instead of mish wakta i said sar wakta sar usually means it happened but in this context, of course, it doesn't mean it happened. It means it became, صار وقتا, it became the time, which, which means basically it's now the time, it's time. So when you say صار وقتا, you can say it's time. Literally, you're saying it's her time, which means it's time. صار وقتا, هلا ارجع حب. I wrote صار وقتا so that we become more open to receiving love ra rather than rejecting it and saying leave me and it's not the time for us to love let's be open to love okay so مش وقتا هلا ارجع حب and then she goes ah oh, like oh ah uh, whatever you will hear this ah uh, a lot in Arabic songs and then she says هلا ما فيي فيي means I can also in Lebanese Arabic, we can use both. We can use fiye or we can use fine. They are exactly the same, no difference. Fine or fiye, it means I can. Ma fiye, I can't. You just add the ma here. You add ma. Hella ma fiye. Usually, I, when I write this with Roman letters, I like to use the e, hella, with the number two in the end. So, hella ma fiye. Again, in the song, she pronounces it as fiyi, but in Lebanese, we pronounce it ma fiyi or ma fiyne. Hella ma fiyne or hella ma fiyi. Now I can't. In the cover, I said hella fiyi. Okay? Umanna biidayi. So, if you want to say something is not in my hand, you say it in the same way in Arabic. You can say, it, she is not, which means it's not because we don't have it in Arabic. We are saying, she is not in my hands, okay? Sometimes we can say, mish bi'idi, not in my hand, eid, just one hand. But here she uses the plural form in the song. So, let's break this down. So, iden, iden means hands in Arabic, i then but when i want to add 
the possessive to ending to it, which is the my, the e here, I'm not going to say idaine anymore. We drop the last noon and it becomes idaie. So instead of saying idaine, we it becomes idaie. Idaie. And something else is happening here. It's a pronunciation detail. Let me add it to you. So when it's alone, the word idain, hands, we pronounce it idain. And we can pronounce it idain. Idain or idain. Uh, but for sure, when I add the e in the end, which is the possessive ending, I don't say idee, idee, or something like that. No, I, <coughs> I pronounce it idee always. <coughs> idee. So, manna bi idee. I'm saying literally she is not in my uh, in my hand so uh, I always say we don't have a verb to be in the present in Arabic but we have verb not to be it's actually not a verb it plays the role of a verb so manna manna bi'idayye she is not in my hands which means it's not in my hands so she's saying again halla ma fiye now I can't and wu it's not in my hands. Manna bi'idayi. And she goes on and says, Ma ba'arif shu sarlu hal alb. Ma ba'arif shu sarlu hal alb. So ba'arif is I know. Ma ba'arif means I don't know. Ma ba'arif. Shu sar is what happened. Shu, what? Sar means happened. Shu sarlu. Lo is like you're saying for him. What happened for him? That's how you are saying it in Arabic, which means what happened to him. I don't know what happened to him. Ma ba'arif shu sarlo. I don't know what happened to him. And if you're talking about a girl or a feminine thing or a situation that is feminine, you say ma ba'arif shu sar la. Happened for her. I don't know what happened for her. That's what you're saying. In Arabic, ma ba'arif shu sar lo, and then she says hal al this heart. I don't know what happened for him this heart, which means I don't know what what happened to this heart. If we take the word hal al, we can even break it down further. Al means heart. Hal is the abbreviation of hayda, which is this, plus il, which is the hayda plus il. We don't pronounce it hayda al. We say hayda al, but here she used. The abbreviated form, which is hell, hell, elb, this heart. I don't know what happened to this heart. Uh, in my version of my cover, the way I said it is hell, fiye. Now I can. Instead of saying manna bidaye, it's not in my hands. I said el shagl bidaye, el shagl, and I pronounce it as shagl because. Why? The letter Sheen is a sun letter and all the words in Arabic that start with a Sh, whenever you put an L before them, you don't pronounce this L, you just pronounce it Ishagli. This thing basically, this thing is in my hand. Uh, that's how you say it. If you want to say uh, something is in your hands, you can change it. You say Ishagli bi'idayi. It's in my hands. Ishagli bi'idayi. The thing is in my hands, literally. And then I said, U, which means and, instead of ma, I remove the ma and I say, U ba'arif, and I know, shu sar lo hal alb, and I know what happened to this heart. Let's repeat this passage. So, albi ya albi, trikni ya albi. Mish wakta, halla irrahib, ah, halla mafiyi, umanna. بإيديي ما بعرف شو صار له هالقلب. And now this is what she keeps on repeating in the song. She says, معقولة حبيتك عزوقة لقيتك بعيوني في أنت وبس. Let me repeat. معقولة حبيتك عزوقة لقيتك بعيوني انت وبس. So, حبيت is I loved. حبيت. حبيتك. I loved you. معقول or معقولة. We use them both inter interchangeably. Means uh, possible. So, literally you're saying possible I loved you. But of course you don't mean possible I loved you. you are, she's actually saying 
is it possible that I loved you? Or like she's surprised. Ma'uli habaytak. How come I loved you? Is it possible that I loved you? Ma'uli habaytak. That's what she says. But in Lebanese Arabic, again, we pronounce this E as an A. Ma'uli habaytak. If you're saying it in real life. And then she says, Azaw'i la'aytak. In the song, she says Azaw'i, but in Lebanese Arabic, we pronounce it Azaw'i. Azaw'i la'aytak. Let's break this down. La'ayt means I found. La'ayt. La'aytak, I found you. A means literally on. And zaw, the word zaw, means taste, but it doesn't mean the taste that, like of the food or something you eat. No, the taste in clothes or like if somebody has good or bad taste, that kind of taste. So that's zaw. So when you say about something or someone that they are azawe, literally you're saying on my taste, which means exactly like how I like, like just the way I like. Okay, so like the way I prefer or to my taste, I don't know if you say it in, in English, but you're actually saying to my taste in Arabic. To my taste, I found you. Basically, I found you uh, just exactly like how I like. Okay, you are someone that is to my taste, basically. Uh, to my taste, I found you. Is it possible I loved you? To my, to my taste, I found you. Ba'yuni fi inta ubas. Ba'yuni fi inta ubas. In the song, she says ba'yuni. But in Lebanese Arabic, we never say ba, we pronounce it bi. It's, an, it's a Lebanese Arabic song. I keep on saying Lebanese Arabic. But in songs, sometimes, you know, when we change the way we pronounce things to make words rhyme or, you know, more poetic, maybe that's why she's using ba. But in reality, we don't use ba in in Lebanese, we say bi. Bi'yuni instead of ni, ni. Again, we pronounce it ni. So if I want to say to someone that you are in my eyes, I say inta bi'yuni. You are in my eyes. Which means I really like you or I really care about you. So bi'yuni, here she pronounces it. Fi, there is. Fi, inta, you, ubas, and only. In my eyes. Ba'yuni, fi, there is, inta ubas, you and only. So there is only you in my eyes, basically. So, ma'uli habaytak, azawi la'aytak, ba'yuni fi, inta ubas. Let's continue. Layali, layali. Layali means nights and nights. It's the plural form of layl. Uh, Lail or pronounced, some people pronounce it Lail, some people pronounce it Lail. Up to you, you can use either or. But here again in the song, she's using the plural form Layali. But in Lebanese Arabic, we don't pronounce it Layali, we pronounce it Layele. Layele. So Lail, Layele. So she is saying Layele, Layele, but pronouncing it Layali, Layali, which means nights, nights, which means nights and nights. Layali, Layali. عم بسهر ليالي. Now, بسهر. Let's talk about this word بسهر. بسهر is the verb of the word سهرة. And the word سهرة can mean a night out or a party. But it's not necessarily a night out or a party. It's anything that you do uh, until a late time. So if you're dancing out until late time, you are in a sahara. If you're studying until late, you are, you are in a sahara. And you can say, عم I am, I am doing the sahara, basically. In, in French, sahara is a soiree. So if you speak French, you understand sahara is a soiree. Bushar is I do a soiree, basically, which means I do a night, not out, but a night long maybe so again so if you're studying a lot you can say عم uh, if you're not sleeping early you say انا uh, I sleep uh, late for example you can use it to say انا uh, كل سبت I, I stay out late every Saturday بسهر so again, Sahara and Bushar is like something that keeps you up, 
basically but a lot of times it has the connotation of a party in this song for example it doesn't have the connotation of a party she's saying here in this context she means that she's staying up late for nights nights and nights most probably because she's thinking about him layali layali am bishar layali nights and nights i am staying up nights wa ishtaq lak min dun ma his wa ishtaq lak min dun ma his now let's talk about the the verb ishtaq lak the word ishta on its own the verb ishta means i miss ishta but when i want to say miss you i say ishte plus lack you're literally saying i miss for you but you mean i miss you but here you don't pronounce it ishte lack anymore no because we added the lack so we now pronounce it ishta lack ishta lack you remove this and you you put a ah. ishta lack wa ishta lack min dun ma his min dun means without min dun you can also say bidun it's the same it's exactly the same mandun or bidun mandun ma his his means i feel mandun ma literally you're saying without that i feel it makes no sense in english again but in arabic you mean that i am missing you without feeling it mandun ma his so if you want to say i did something without feeling it you say Uh, I did it min dun ma his without feeling it, uh, without noticing it, or without being in control of your feeling, maybe as as well. Okay, so am bis har layali wa ishtaqlak min dun ma his. So here, let me talk about the word ishte again. I said ishte means I miss, but there is something about this verb as well. Usually, if you want to say to someone. I miss you say bishte you don't say ishte when it's on its own but here because she used the am bishar she has the option of dropping the b so here she could have said am ishar some people say am ishar but i personally like to use it with the b am bishar but then with the second one am bishar layali she didn't repeat the am the second one she didn't need to so am bishtaqlak she could have said it but she said am ishtaqlak min dun ma his so with the second verb she dropped the b with the first one she didn't drop this b of the i okay so layali layali am bishar layali wa ishtaqlak and miss you min dun ma his without feeling and a and this part this passage as i said she repeats it several times in in her songs okay uh, so here when with my version when i was singing it i said ishtaqlak instead of min dun without feeling it so i i wanted to say i consciously miss you ishtaqlak i said ana wa'am bhis so am bhis is i am feeling ana is i wu means usually and but you know what when you put the wow exactly before the am it means no more and no it means while i am feeling whilst i am feeling ishtaq lak ana wa am bhis so i'm staying up late and i'm missing you whilst i am feeling okay uh, like it's a way to say like I am consciously missing you. I know I'm pes. Okay, let me write it with Roman letters as well. Oops. So it's Anna, Wu, I'm pes. So every time from now on, when you see this wow, immediately after the uh, before the I'm, think of it or after the pronoun basically, uh, think of it as uh, while and not and. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let's continue and do the last passage. She says, "Ma ba'arif shu illak." Ma ba'arif is I don't know. Ma ba'arif shu what illak? I tell you, I don't know what I tell you literally, but she she means I don't know what to tell you. Again, we say "ul" when it's I tell, but because we added the "ak," we are not going to say "shu ul lak." No, we have to pronounce it "illak" instead of "ul lak." 
we remove this all إلك ما بعرف شو إلك I don't know what to tell you لو فيي ما إلك فيي again is I can as we said لو means if or if only لو فيي if only I can ما إلك again if only I can not tell you basically she's saying to him I don't know what to tell you and I wish I can not tell you uh, I can that I don't tell you basically okay لو فيي ما إلك if I could only not tell you because she doesn't want to tell him or she's pretending that she doesn't want to tell him so لو فيي ما إلك I removed the ما and I said I wish I could tell you لو فيي إلك again just to be open for love and be honest about our feelings so لو فيي إلك عن قلبي وشو صاير في عن قلبي وشو صاير في again قلبي as we said in Lebanese we have to pronounce it قلبي عن قلبي so لو فيي ما إلك عن قلبي if, if only I could not tell you about my heart عن means about قلب means heart قلبي is my heart لو فيي ما إلك عن قلبي if I could only not tell you about my heart وشو صاير في شو صاير في شو صاير في now شو means what و means and and what صاير في what has happened to him so if I could only hide or not tell you about my heart and what happened to him but let's explain this a bit further and break it down صاير I translated as I translated it as what has happened to him but here we're using not a verb it's a participle literally it means uh, the the person who happened or the happener literally it makes no sense in, in English but that's that's what it means in Arabic literally the happener or something like that which means uh, the, the the how can I explain this it's a bit tricky to explain so the literally you're saying the happener but it you it's it plays the role of a verb and it means what has happened fi literally you're saying in him which means to him so شو صاير في so when you say to some about someone you're asking about someone and you say and you want to say what has happened to him you say شو صاير في شو صاير في what has happened something has happened to him and it kind of continues to happen and it's still the situation is ongoing basically okay شو صاير في عن قلبي وشو صاير في so ما بعرف شو قلك لو فيي ما قلك عن قلبي وشو صاير في ومبين علي مبين علي في سر بعيني في سر بعيني طمني حسيت بشي and then she goes ah let's break it down ومبين علي مبين it shows علي on me على means on علي means on me again in Lebanese Arabic we have to pronounce it علي مبين علي it shows on me again here مبين I'm translating it as a verb it shows but it's not a verb it's a participle and it means uh, the shown literally the shown on me which means it shows on me basically ومبين علي and it shows on me ومبين علي في there is سر سر means a secret B means in عيني means my eyes the word عينين or عينين some people pronounce it عينين or عيون Uh, means eyes عينين usually it's just two eyes because we have two eyes a pair of eyes عيون is the plural form عيون just eyes we can use them interchangeably عينين but here she's using عينيني she's adding the e which means my but of course we don't say عينيني anymore we drop the noon and we say عينيي عينيي my eyes of course we can also say عيوني عيوني عينيي عيوني my eyes or my eyes so fi sir there is a secret in my eyes 
okay so here why do we drop the n of inen for example because it's a dual form and the n that we have at the end of words it's usually to show that uh, uh, it's the plural form of just two not more just two only when it comes to this noon we drop it you see we said inayi but i didn't say ayu ayu no we keep this noon because this is a regular plural irregular plural yes but like not the dual plural so we're dropping the noon of the dual عينين, عيني, عيون, we keep the noon and we say عيوني. okay في سر بعيني, there is a secret in my eyes so it shows on me that there is a secret in my eyes طمني حسيت بشي طمني means uh, give uh, like uh, make my mind comfortable or give me comfort in my mind طمني so for example if uh, I don't know, one of our friends, God forbid, had a car accident, we, we call them and we say Tamminni alayk, like uh, when we're checking on someone, we say Tamminni, uh, make my mind comfortable, you know, so that we make sure that you're okay or something like that. So Tammin is the verb, Tamminni is make me comfortable, Tammin. Uh, it's like give me peace of mind basically, but it's a way to say you're checking on someone uh, if they are okay, tamminne, okay, tamminne, uh, like make me comfortable. Let me know. Hasait pshi, hasait is you felt. Hasait bi, literally with she something, but she's pronouncing it as pshi, which means with something, which means something. Did you feel something? Hasait pshi. So in Arabic we're saying hasait you felt with something, which means did you feel something? Again, we're not saying did you feel something. We are just saying. You felt something? Tamminni. Make my mind comfortable or uh, give me peace of, peace of, peace of mind. Hasayt uh, Did you feel anything? And then she goes, ah. And then she repeats this part again. Elbi ya elbi. Trikni ya elbi. Mish wakta hella irrah. Okay? I think that's it for today. Let me read it one more time slowly. So that when you hear the song, you can sing along. Okay? Let's begin. Elbi ya elbi, trikni ya elbi. Mishwa. Oops. Let me go back up. My page keeps jumping today. Elbi ya elbi, trikni ya elbi. Mishwa ta hella irrahib. And then she goes, ah. Hella ma fiyi, umanna bidayi. ما بعرف شو صار له هالقلب معقول حبيتك عزوقي لقيتك بعيوني في انت وبس ليالي ليالي عم بسهر ليالي واشتاق لك من دون ما احس and then again a ما بعرف شو قلك لو فيي ما قلك عن قلبي وشو صاير فيه ومبين علي في سر بعيني طمني حسيت بشي and then again ah that's it for today I'm gonna turn my camera and say bye to you Alright guys, that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it and I will upload the song as I told you tomorrow I hope you like it See you. Bye.